May I speak to you alone, Godfather? Please? I trust these two men with my life. They are my right hands. I cannot insult them by sending them away. I was raised in America. I've always wanted to be an American with American values. Uh, but when I discovered that those values have been soiled by generations, right, of inbuilt bigotry, yeah, racism, sexism, and the intellectual framework for transphobia when that came along a few years back. And ever since then, I've adopted a rearrangement, a whimsical rearrangement of those values. And I've tried to make people see the world as I see it, but some don't listen. And I wept, but why did I weep? Because I know what America, the world, could become if I was given free reign to indoctrinate. And I addressed the people like a good American, right? You know, I spoke down to them and spat on years of custom and tradition from my lowly altar of a third-rate actress from an only minorly better legal drama, but nothing, nothing at all. I even married a prince of Great Britain, and uh, that actually increased my seniority and my relevance a thousandfold. But when I brought my nuance-free West Coast morality to an even more stubborn peoples, the peoples of Great Britain, um, they failed to immediately fall into line as well. And why did you go to the people directly? Why didn't you come to me at the beginning of this affair? Godfather, what do you want from me? I mean, tell me what you wish, but, but please, do as I beg. And what is that? Force the entire population of the world to adopt my candy floss wokery. That I cannot do. We have known each other for many years, you and I. But until this day, you've never come to me for counsel or for help. I can't remember the last time you invited me round to your house for coffee, even though my wife is the godmother to your only child. Uh, she's not, actually. She is now. Let's be frank. You spurned my friendship. You feared to be in my debt. I don't fear any man. No, don't speak. You found America a paradise. You made uh, awful films, but you made a good living. You thought the world was a pliable place that you could convince at your will. You never armed yourself with true friends. After all, the media protected you. There were courts of law. No harm could come to you or yours. You didn't need Don Corleone. Very well. I have to admit I was wounded. But I'm not the type of man to thrust this friendship on those who do not value it. Those who see me of little account. But now you come to me and you say, Don Corleone, please give me justice. But you do not ask with respect. You do not ask with friendship. Instead, you come to me and my home on the bridal day of my daughter. And you say, please, Don Corleone, bully some people into the submission. Look, I will pay you anything. I mean, we've got loads of money. No. No, I'm not offended. But I ask myself, what have I ever done to make you treat me so disrespectfully? America has been good to me. I mean, I've made lots of money from very minimal talent. But I want to be a good citizen back for America. In fact, I want to be a good citizen of the world. Well spoken. Very fine. And you have nothing to complain about. The people have ruled. America has ruled. The world has ruled. They want nothing to do with your woke nonsense. You know? Forgive. Forget. Life is full of misfortune. I'm asking you for justice. The people gave you justice. 
No, they gave me insult. They did not give me justice. What is your justice? I, I, I just want to take an eye for an eye, you know? Mm, but you ask for more. You ask for more. There are some who still listen to you. Then please, Godfather, force as many people as necessary to listen to me, so I feel suitably important. How much should I pay you? Why do you fear in giving your first allegiance to me? Huh? You spent months, years, going to the public directly. Huh? You spent millions on um, publicity agents. Who know that in the end, they make you look like a fool. You accept judgment from uh, people who think independently. And not exactly to your liking. But if you'd come to me, then my propaganda machine would have been yours. If you'd come to me for justice, then the scum who didn't listen to you would be weeping bitter tears this day. And uh, if by some misfortune a woman like yourself... Uh, a cis woman? Had they made enemies, then um, they would become my enemies. And then, believe me, they would fear you. Be my friend. I accept. Good, good. Then you shall have your justice. Someday, and that day may never come, I will call upon you to perform a service for me. But until that day, please just accept this as a gift from my wife on the day of my daughter's wedding. Thank you, Godfather. Thank you. Um, give this affair to uh, Clemenza. Um, tell him to um, threaten many social media companies into um, banning content that is contradictory to the nonsense she spews. Um, Tell them particularly to concentrate on uh, YouTube parodies and channels like that that um, point out the hypocrisy of her beliefs. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to you, Godfather. Uh, it must be an honor for you, too. I've come to talk to you about book sales. Uh, Harry and I, uh, or me and Harry, should I say, um, we've both entered the uh, literary world. My book's already out. It's called The Bench. Um, I've left a copy with Tom Hagen for you. Um, Harry's going to be releasing a series of books, um, you know, all about growing up in the uh, Roe household. You know, it's a, a tell-all, you know, behind the scenes. Did you write the books yourselves? Yeah, I did. Um, Harry? No, no, of course not. The Bench. It's a children's book, I hear. It's got some illustrations in. Did you, um, paint these yourself? Uh, no, that was, uh, Christian Robinson. Although I, uh, read some praise for the, uh, illustrations. The, uh, Telegraph, for instance. They criticized the, uh, grammar. Yeah, but... No, don't speak. The uh, Independent said that uh, it was unlikely to win any literary awards. And the uh, Times said that uh, it lacked a good story and basic rhyme. Even the Irish Times said that the writing was uh, disjointed. And the New York Times said that uh, the illustrations were lovely but that the rhyming was tortured, tortured, before going on to give you uh, one of the most enthusiastic compliments you've received for this book. Not terrible. Yeah, that just sounds like a lot of white rage uh, spewing from the uh, open pores of male chauvinism. You've already received undue adulation for your abominable book. Why not just be happy? Accept what you have. Take the winnings. To be blunt, Godfather, 
Um, I think my book should be shown to every single school child. Uh, critical opinion does not support that uh, hypothesis. There are a bunch of racist, bigot, homophobes, okay? And rational criticism is their seductive poison, right? Just listen to yourself. No, I couldn't, uh, in all good conscience, spread your words any further to affect the ears and the minds of children. You've already taken your self-importance too far. You're the only one I'd let say that to me. And what's your husband's book about? Whinging and complaining about being brought up a royal. And I don't see a market for that. At least, not one that I want to filthy myself in by mere involvement. You're worse than Salazzo. What, so you're not going to help boost our sales? Not in the slightest. I'm a sentimental man. I like uh, children's stories and fairy tales. I started reading your book. Uh, it was too difficult, so I uh, had someone read it to me. You know, I've done some uh, terrible things to people who disappoint me. But I'd never subject them to that. That bad? Uh, I just... It's not horrific. It's just uh, entirely unmemorable. You know, sometimes I break rules. Sometimes I break even more than rules. But I always appreciate the beauty of truth and brilliance. I cannot uh, soil my reputation by plugging what is, uh, at best, the lower end of mediocre. Okay, well, thank you for hearing me out anyway, Godfather. You're welcome. Uh, Clemenza, get this uh, copy of The Bench from Tom and wrap it up to give to Luca Brazzi for his birthday. It's this one. No, Godfather, ever since our acrimonious split, from the UK royal family. Uh, H and I have been looking for, you know, a suitable place in the global power structure, you know, one that suits our skill sets. And I think it's pretty obvious that we have a talent for bringing people together, right? You know, bringing people together. So H and I were brainstorming. And that must have been quite a sight. Yeah, well, it was more me monologuing and Harry just nodding along as though he understands what I'm talking about. How romantic. Yeah, my ideas are normally quite raw at their inception, you know, at the beginning. And it can be quite hard to focus them into something, you know, meaningful and applicable. But um, I think we've come up with a perfect strategy so we can be the greatest benefit to the greatest number of people possible. Congratulations. Why do you need me? Yeah, but there could be some resistance to our plans, so, you know, we might need you to straighten a few people out, you know, help them, help make them see sense, if you, if you get what I mean. If there's been a travesty of the natural justice, I'm happy to intervene. There's a small favor asked by a close acquaintance who shows me respect for calling me godfather. And I'm happy to intervene. If you follow what I'm saying. I do, I do. Uh, Godfather. I'm glad. Now tell me about this uh, new epiphany. Describe the wonderment of your master plan that uh, utilizes the skills of yourself and your husband. I'm giddy with anticipation. Well, you know, we'd isolated our abilities which, you know, mainly revolve around bringing people together and creating harmony and unity. And then we thought to ourselves, you know, what is it that needs harmony and unity most in this world? <laughs> and then, of course, it hit us, the world itself. You know, and we were, um, kind of are, members of the UK royal family, uh, but there's been a few bitter words and public fallouts. You know, I I'm sure you've seen, seen it in the media. I try not to dirty my mind with such things. Yeah, you know, we're not active members of the royal family anymore, 
We're just using the titles for expediency. How honorable. You know, we've been pushed out. You know, probably because of my skin color. But, you know, anyway, I mean, UK was never going to be, like, our main focus. Because, you know, I mean, they voted for Brexit. I mean, come on. Oh, so they must be punished. In this case, by, uh, the abdication of responsibility for their plight. I'm sure they'll view it as a great loss. I know, but Brexit, I mean, come on. And they asked for this, frankly. So, what we're going to do is we're going to migrate away from any one country, any country. You know, not the US, not the UK, we're not going to be citizens of any of these countries. Um, and then we're going to just enter the world, you know, the globe. Uh, and, of course, we're going to keep our Duke and Duchess titles. So, we're going to become Duchess and Duke uh, of the world. Wouldn't it uh, normally be Duke and Duchess? Uh, no, not in global royalty. No, it's uh, Duchess and Duke. I'm nearly speechless. I know, right? And we'd have cut our ties with the UK royal family, the, the traditional royal family, as well as found a suitable place that we can, you know, that can properly take advantage of the skills H and I have. And, and because there are no princesses or princes of the world, you know, as Duchess and Duke, we'd become first in line. And as the throne of the globe is currently unoccupied, we would become the first queen and prince uh, of the world, of the globe. You uh, got it all figured out. Yeah, and all we need from you is to bully those who aren't in harmony with our quest for harmony. I have a few thoughts. Fine. I've been sitting here trying to contemplate what you've been saying. I've never heard anything like it in my life. Well, thank you so much. Perhaps you should refrain from offering me your thanks until you've heard what it is I have to say. This capacity that you believe you possess, the uh, ability to bring unity and harmony. It's undoubtedly an inaccurate perception. Well, but... No, don't speak. You've bombarded my ears enough for the time being. It's time you received some much-needed feedback. I've met you on a few occasions now, and your husband. And although I usually stay clear of the drivel of celebrity gossip, I've heard a few things in passing about your uh, circumstance. It seems that you bring um, division and hostility to every scenario that has the misfortune to enjoy your presence. Unity. Harmony. Now, I see a uh, red-misted chemtrail left by your trailblazing emergence from uh, the triviality third-rate TV to the prominence of the British royal family. You're right. It's been a courageous, trailblazing journey. You are a drunk on a unwarranted power that has been granted to you by your marital titles and your unedifying Exploitation of Wokonomic candy floss. What? You have no idea what I mean because uh, you live in a different world with different rules. There's no longer anything that has any meaning for you outside your desire for personal furtherance. You believe in what you do and so far as it works for you. But I, uh, I hear laughter in the air. A gentle, uh, snickering. A joke that we're all in on. There is a humor in your desire to stay relevant. The problem is, you've shunned the rabble. The, uh, the little people. By living in opulence. 
and then continuously complaining about hardship. Well, it is hard. And you've uh, insulted the uh, rational people by telling flagrant mistruths without even the hint of uh, retraction or adaptation. So who are you left with? Idiots and uh, Hollywood celebrities. And foreign billionaires. And the Hollywood elite are the cruelest of all. They are fickle. They, uh, they love to tease and to mock. There is laughter in the air, Megan. I can hear it. Think about your uh, appearance on Ellen DeGeneres. They're laughing at you. No, 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 no. And you want to become a queen and prince, as you so aptly put it, of the world. This shows a shocking level of our self-awareness. Although I uh, wish you well in your endeavors, so long as they do not uh, conflict with my own, I cannot help you in your quest to become a global royalty. Look, I don't think you've fully grasped what it could mean for us, for you, uh, I mean, for everyone. If we were to get this position, you know, officially. Upon that, we agree. Thank you for coming to see me. And for being such a courteous guest in my house. But I have uh, other business to attend to. Okay, well, you know, see you later. Clemenza, run me a bath. I need to uh, cleanse. <laughs>